Hello everyone this is MP this is the third part of javascript basics so in this video we will uh, explore uh, another conditions if else else if so um, after this uh, i think it will be we will complete like the if else conditions so i will show you how you can do that and uh, all right so let's uh, get started so sometime we have like uh, instead of so this is like condition if this hap if this this is equals to this condition is match then do this else do this so here uh, for this one we don't have uh, we are not checking anything so if you have to check on this one then you can make it this as a else if and then we have to uh, pass the condition all right uh, so my name equals to expert then name is expert okay so now if we will run this then it gonna check these both condition before that it was checking only this one if this one is true then it execute this statement and other than that it is blindly execute this one so in this situation if we put like if we gonna give mp as our input then it gonna run this statement and if we gonna put like expert then it gonna execute uh, this statement so in both conditions now we are checking it all right so let's save one more time to make sure we saved everything and then we have to launch the browser all right so open that browse it and we have our first page all right here we're gonna allow it so prompt is coming up it is mp then it will say name is matching and if we gonna here we have to enter age which we you are older okay so now let's execute second time and here we can say expert and it will show like name is expert so it is executing both statement right all right so it is working correctly so here now check the two condition in a one statement i mean uh, in a one uh, at a one time we can check like two condition at once so how we do that all right so now we gonna cut this and paste this here so at the same time we are we are entering my name and age so based on that it will uh, do its decision all right so how we gonna write it okay so now what we have to do here we will just delete this one so we gonna pass the same conditions over here so here i'm saying like if my name is mp and age equals to age is less than 18 then it will run this one mp mp is mp is uh, uh, what it called the uh, mp is Pager. okay and here if else if my name equals to mp and 
is equals to uh, more than more than 18 then we are saying like okay mp is older all right let's uh, save it and then we can able to refresh our page so now oh something is wrong there so i think we have to check our syntax like what has happened here oh my bad here i have to put equals to and now we gonna save it and see it's working all right so my name is mp and let's put the age less than 18 15 mp is teenager so let's try to give a negative scenario let's refresh it again now the name is mp but the age is age is uh, 58 mp is older so as you can see these both conditions are uh, running correctly so you can compare through these both conditions so both conditions need to be satisfied all right so here you can also give the or condition so suppose that if it's a mp or okay let's let's do a negative scenario first okay let's refresh it let's put uu and then age is uh, any age should shouldn't matter for us so it's not doing anything so it is not falling into any condition so now I can say if MP and this is the one condition right we can say here oh there is a pipe sign we can say or my name equals to hello and age equals to less than what you can say 18 okay let's put 18 or then uh, we have to pass okay MP or name is teenager okay and here we can say name is and similarly here we can also pass so this means or and this is the end all right so let's save this and uh, they want to want me to purchase it yeah but i don't have any money so i'm sorry all right so here we're gonna refresh it so firstly we're gonna run the first condition which is mp and the age is uh, 17 so it says m name is teenager okay or how it gonna fail if the name is we can say if the name is name is hello hello and the age is 16 the name is teenager so you can check it if the name is hello and age is uh, 33 oh this one is not working so we have to check why 
oh my bad so in this condition we have to change it to greater than 18 then it will work so let's do that hello and then we're gonna give uh, 33 okay so name is older so all right guys so this is working and it is very that's the beauty of the conditioning condition statements so you can uh, pass only one statement and then you can pass this uh, two statement and this is like a three statement or this is overall if you say like this is a one chunk of statement and this is another chunk of statement all right so you can also give like here pipe sign and you can say it is a mp or hello then it will it will display this one so it is a different way of doing your work with a different kind so this is pretty much it for this video and i hope uh, it is it is it gives you more information and you like the video so right guys stay tuned i'll come back again bye bye